Hello everyone and welcome to this Vector Ink tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Vector Ink's pen tool to trace over a sketch. So let's dive in. I'm going to hit the menu and import my sketch. Zoom out and I'm going to tap on this top right corner so I can scale it down proportionally. I'm going to scale it down to be inside of the canvas here. And I'm going to use the alignment buttons to align it to the center. Okay, that can also be found in the alignment options here. Then I'm going to go to the layers panel. I'm going to tap, double tap on the layer and I'm going to turn down the opacity. And I'm going to lock it in place so it can't be moved while I do my pen tool work. Okay, and all we're going to do in this tutorial is just I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool to trace over something like this. So let's activate the pen tool. And I'm going to start here at the tail. I'm going to tap. I'm going to bring it up here. I don't need to put a point here. I'm just going to bring the point right here. Right? Then I'm going to put a point right here. Then I'm going to put a point right here. Okay, you notice I'm not, you can pull and and bend the curve, but I'm going to just place points for now. Okay, I'm going to place points at each of the curves. This one doesn't need a point because I'm just going to pull the curve out here. This one's going to need a point though. And we're going to double tap on all of these and create the bend, create the curves. So. Let's continue. So I'm going to put a point right here and here and here and here, here, here. This one's going to need a point here, here. This one won't need one, so I'm going to put it right there. This one doesn't need it. Put it there, 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 and there. Okay, so far, so easy. All we're doing is placing points at curves. Some of these might not even need them, but I'll show you why. So I'm going to start bending. I'm going to start, I'm gonna start by pulling this one out. I'm going to tap on it, tap on it again, and pull. Okay, and that created handles already on these points All right this one i'm going to double tap on this one and you see it created the the bend for me the bezier curve for me but this one i'm going to double tap okay this one i skipped this one because i should just oh, let me deselect that one i should just need to pull this one down like so same with this one i should just need to pull this one in Pull this one out, pull this one in, double tap on this one, and I'm going to mirror this, this segment here. So I'm going to go into the path properties and I'm going to select a mirror joint. Pull it out some more and bring this one out like that. Now, this one looks sharp, so I'm going to leave that alone. And what I want to do is I want to pull this one down here. Like that. I'm going to pull this one in, like so. Bring this down a little bit. This one, double tap. I'm going to use mirror joint and pull them out. Like so. Let's deselect that one, tap and tap and pull. Same with this one. All right, that looks good. That looks good. See, the pen tool makes doing this so easy. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to knock out the eyes real quick. 
use the pen tool to do the eyes here, here. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to connect it to the first one. Now let's color it. Let's open up the fill color. Let's come in here and I'm going to see what we have in the color palette library. Look, this right here, perfect. Use a darker color for the body, a lighter color eye. Let's remove the stroke. And let's get rid of the background raster. And there you have it. Our Rhino is complete. Vectoring makes tracing using the pen tool so easy. All you have to do is hop on vectoring.io forward slash app, import your image, and trace it with the pen tool. It's not hard to do, as you can see. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Let's keep this channel growing and spread the word of Vector Inc. See you next time.